The process to extradite Kyle Rittenhouse to Wisconsin has been postponed another month. He waived his right to appear in court today, but his attorneys met with a Lake County judge virtually. The extradition hearing took place on Zoom and was live streamed on YouTube this morning. Rittenhouse hired private counsel and his attorneys asked the judge for more time to prepare for the extradition status hearing. It was granted, which means Lake County can hold Rittenhouse for up to 30 days. Anybody can ask for a continuance of any kind of hearing, but at the same time, because he's trying to hire a private attorney, he has the right to go and do that. The teen faces multiple charges after opening fire during a demonstration in Kenosha following the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Cell phone videos detail the events that unfolded Tuesday night. Police say Rittenhouse drove up from Antioch armed with an AR-15 style rifle. Police say Joseph Rosenbaum, who did not appear to be armed, threw a plastic bag at Rittenhouse but missed him. Rosenbaum then tried to grab the gun and was shot multiple times. Police say Rittenhouse was heard talking to a friend on his cell phone saying, quote, I just killed someone. Afterwards, when people started running after him, he tripped and fell. Anthony Huber, who had a skateboard, tried to pull the gun away, but was shot in the chest. Rittenhouse was taken into custody Wednesday morning. He's charged with first degree reckless homicide, intentional homicide, and for shooting a third man in the arm. But before he can face those charges, Wisconsin officials need permission to bring him across the state line. The 17 year old is being held at a juvenile justice center here in Lake County. If convicted, he could face up to life in prison. The next extradition status hearing is scheduled for September 25th. In Lake County, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.